Welcome back to Tales from Our Dark Past. Today's tale takes us back to the heart of historic London, to the city's famous ancient fortress, the Tower of London. Built in around 1070 by William the Conqueror and used for centuries as a palace, prison and fortress. The Tower of London is the famous home of the Crown Jewels and draws in millions of visitors each year, ranking highly as one of London's must-see tourist attractions. The Tower of London has also been the setting of many famous moments throughout history and is where King Henry VIII's wives Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard were held whilst under investigation and where they ultimately met their unfortunate end. But today's tale isn't about kings or queens, but about the birds that call the Tower of London their home and the legends that has kept them there for centuries. The legend goes that if the ravens were to ever leave the Tower of London, the kingdom will fall and great disaster and chaos will strike the city. So throughout history, these majestic creatures have been seen as guardians of the tower and were believed to protect the city from catastrophe. The legend is said to date back as far as King Charles II, who ordered the ravens to be protected after being warned of the dire consequences that would befall London if they ever left. But not everyone was so keen on the ravens or taken in by the superstition. King Charles II's astronomer, John Flamsteed, objected to the idea of protecting the ravens. As they got in the way of his business in the observatory at the White Tower, but of course Charles II went against his wishes and ordered that the ravens be protected anyway, and the tradition has been upheld ever since. With at least six resident ravens being kept at the Tower of London to ensure that the awful prophecy never comes true. During World War II, Winston Churchill even ordered more ravens be brought to the Tower of London, as the flock had dwindled down to one, after three of the birds unfortunately passed away during the Blitz. Then two of the remaining three disappeared, leaving just one lonely bird the sole job of upholding the legend and protecting the tower and city from chaos. Today, there are currently seven resident ravens living at the Tower of London, Branwen, Edgar, Rex, Poppy, Georgie, Harris and Jubilee. They are all cared for by the Raven Master, who ensures that the birds are well looked after and taken care of. Sometimes some of the Raven's feathers are trimmed slightly to help encourage them to stay, but this doesn't stop the birds from being able to fly meaning they aren't forced to stay at the tower, and some have chosen to go their own way in the past. With one raven called Munin flying to Greenwich, and another called Grog making a break for an East London pub. Some ravens have even been fired after not being quite right for the job, like Raven George who wouldn't stop causing mischief by nibbling on television aerials. But most of the time, the birds are more than happy to settle into the Tower of London and make it their permanent home. This is largely due to the wonderful care that they receive from the Raven Master, the lovely home that they are provided, and the high meat diet that they love. There's very little reason for the birds to ever want to leave. They are fed twice a day with their favourite foods, which include a selection of meats, rats and mice, with the occasional treat of a blood-soaked biscuit. Ravens are very intelligent birds, and the Tower Ravens are no exception. They've been known to mimic sounds, and they're excellent problem solvers. So be sure to look out for them if you're planning on visiting, as they can be quite entertaining as they go about their day amongst the busy crowds. But what if one day, the Ravens were to leave the Tower? Would London truly fall? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Tales of History and Legend. Until next time, may the ravens continue to watch over London. Thank you for watching Tales from Our Dark Past.